Hey everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil, as you know, and today I've got another song section to teach you. We'll be looking at a classic, a famous melody, Timeless. This is from the song Over the Rainbow. This one was written by Yip Harburg, but was made famous, of course, in the movie Wizard of Oz. And we're going to be looking at the intermediate A section melody. That section we'll be learning in this video sounds a little something like this. One, two, set, go. Alright, well that's the section we're going to be learning today. I'm sure all of you guys could sing along, and maybe you were when I was playing. Well, by the end of this video, you'll be able to play along, and that's pretty exciting, I think. So I'm excited to teach this one to you today. But let me first quickly tell you, when you're done with this video, and when we're done looking at this section, if you want to learn the rest, or if you want to learn it in a different difficulty level, head to the Playground Sessions app. It's interactive, which means it grades you as you play. And we're offering a free trial for 30 days with no strings attached, so you guys out there on YouTube land can finish the songs that we start here on YouTube in the app for free. Pretty great, right? Check out the app, check out the free trial by clicking the link in this video's description or by tapping that card above. But for now, let's get started on this video. I want to break down the right hand first. The key signature here is one sharp, F sharp. That tells us we're in the key of G. Time signature is 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. Now let's talk notes and hand positions. Our first note is a G above middle C with our thumb, and then immediately we're jumping up one octave to the next highest G with our pinky. Next measure we've got F sharp, don't forget the key signature, D, E, F sharp, G. Now thumb reaches right back down to that first G, and then pinky's going to play an E this time, and then 4 on D. There's the end of our first phrase. Now our thumb's going to jump down even further to an E, and then pinky's on C. Now 4 on B, G, A, B, C. Next line down, 3 on A, 1 on F sharp, 2 on G, A, B, G. Okay, now we're done with the first half. Second half, guess what? Almost exactly the same, except for the final measure. So we can start the same way. Thumb on G, pinky up an octave, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, thumb back down, and then this time pinky to E, and 4 on D. Now again, just like the first half, thumb goes down to E, pinky up to high C, then B, G, A, B, C, 3 on A, 1 on F sharp, walk up, G, A, B, and then G. Now here's where it gets different, we just have one final note, that's a high D with our third finger. That's where we would go into the next section, the B section. But again, that's a pickup note to the next section, which we're not covering in this video, so let's not worry about that. So that's it for the right hand section. Please pause, rewind, and play back with me during that walkthrough if you need a little extra support with the hand positions, the notes, and the fingerings. But now I think it's time to bring in the band at the medium tempo so we can practice these rhythms. Let's do that now. One, two, Set, go.
All right, again, play with me a handful of times at that slow tempo if you need, but when you're ready now, let's try the right hand at full speed. One, two, set, go. All right, way to go so far, guys. That was not an easy or short section, so good job so far. We've got a lot of hand position changes and fingering and different notes in that right hand, so you should feel proud. However, the bad news is the left hand part is also long and kind of tricky. We've got a lot of different chords, but have no fear. I'm gonna be right here with you walking you through each one. So let's go ahead and dive right into that left hand part now. Our first chord is G over D. And then we have E minor. Then we have B minor over D, and we'll actually play that one two times. Those sound like three very different chords, don't they? G over D, E minor, B over D. However, they all look very, very similar. In fact, sometimes they share more than one note between chords. That's because we have chord inversions that make it very easy to play multiple chords in different positions, but then put them all kind of into one position. Next chord is C over E. We'll do that one two times as well. Then we're back to our G over D. Next we have C over E again, but just for one half note. Then we go to C minor over E flat. So we're dropping that bottom E down by a half step. Next we have G over D again. E minor again. C over E again. We're starting to see some repeated chords, which is good. But then we have a D major in root position. This one's new. Now we're on the next line down, measure eight, back to our G over D, and we'll do it two times. Now we have another G over D. This starts the second half of this section, and guess what? It's exactly the same as the first half. So we've got G over D, E minor, B minor over D, we'll do it twice, and C over E twice, G over D twice, all two count notes, all even. Next line, C over E, now C minor over E flat, G over D, E minor, this is all like before, first half. We'll end it with two G over Ds. What do you say we go ahead and jump right into the full speed practice of this left hand part? They're all half notes and there's a ton of repeated chords and most of the chords fit within this one position due to inversions. So it's not as tough as we thought in the beginning. Let's go ahead and jump in full speed. I know we can do it. One, two, set, go. Wow, way to go, you guys. We got the right hand part down and the left hand part. Neither of those parts were very easy. So I think now we're in the home stretch, which is just to combine the hands. But my only tip for you and how to do this well is to practice that right hand part a crazy amount of times on its own. 
practice that left hand part crazy amount of times on its own. We need to be able to put these hands kind of into autopilot because each one has a significant amount of changes and things we need to keep track of, right? So practice the right hand enough that you can kind of tune it out. Practice the left hand enough that you can do the same. Then meet me back here. We're just gonna go ahead and dive right in at the medium tempo. Let's do that now. One, two, set, go. Yes, great job! We are so, so close to being done with this video. But let me remind you that when we are done with this video, where do you go from here? I'll tell you where, the Playground Sessions app. It's interactive, it's super, super fun. It's kind of addicting, it makes practicing really fun and easy, so you end up practicing a lot more times than you would without the app. It's pretty great, it records your score, it tells you exactly where you need to focus your practicing because it'll turn red if you play the notes or the rhythms wrong. I can't oversell the app, guys. The app is super cool. And right now we're offering a free trial so you can try the app full access with no strings attached for 30 whole days. So you can cancel at any time. You should get in there, get your feet wet, and start playing in the app today. Let's wrap up this video now, but then click the link in this video's description or tap that card above to get started in the app and you can finish this song there. One, two, set, go. Well, I'm really proud of you guys. I hope you're proud of yourselves. You put a lot of work into this video today, and I hope it paid off. Now you should be able to play the main section to Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and that's pretty exciting. I'm Phil, and I love teaching you guys video lessons, so I hope I see you for the next one very soon. Take care, guys. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.